Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Garmin Forerunner 245 or 245 music tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and then use text message and phone call responses on the Garmin Forerunner 245. So a quick example of this is this text message I have from my wife saying hello. I can select it and read more and I can select further to then scroll down and see all the options I have. I can dismiss it, mark it as read. I can also reply. So when I reply, I'll have a bunch of pre-configured responses that I can select that will then be sent to my wife via a text message from my phone. So as you can see, there are a bunch here. In this tutorial, we'll be going over how to edit these and add different ones and also remove the ones that were pre-configured if we want to. These responses are also available for notifications such as emails, and I've only tested it with Gmail, but I would assume that it works with other email services. They also have separate responses for phone calls. And real quick, before we get started, I just want to note that currently, custom text message responses are only available on Android phones. So let's go in and get started. All of this is configured on the phone. So the first thing we'll need to do is go to our phone and open up the Garmin Connect app. So once you have the Garmin Connect app open, simply select the three bars in the top left to open up the sidebar and then scroll down until you see Garmin devices. Once you're in Garmin devices, select the Forerunner 245 and then we'll scroll down and you'll see text responses. So in here we have two different options, respond to messages, respond to incoming calls. So incoming calls, that can be used if you receive a call, you dismiss the call, then you can quickly send a text that's pre-configured. In this tutorial we'll be going over the messages because the incoming call is pretty self-explanatory. So I'll select into messages. And as you can see, these top ones with the red bar right there are the active responses. So they do have other pre-configured responses below and you can select those by just selecting this little plus symbol right next to it. And as you can see, it'll move it up to the top. We can also create our own, and then we will be able to use that on the watch as well. So we do that by selecting a little plus mark at the top, and then just typing in the text that we want. So there's the message I'm going to write, the response, and as you can see, you can use emojis in there as well. So I'll save that. Another thing I want to note, in these responses, you can move them around and change the order, and this, is, this will change the order that shows up on the watch by just grabbing this little button right here. But we can also remove them by simply selecting the little garbage can right next to it. So right there, and now that will be removed from the list. And if you want to reset it to the default, all you need to do is select the three dots right here and select reset to default, and I'll reset all of the messages to the way they were before. All right, so to update this on the watch, all we need to do is do a quick sync with the watch by selecting the back button, keep doing that, and then make sure that the sync button at the top is spinning. If it's not, select that. All right, so now when I go back to my watch and back to the text from my wife, if I scroll down and go to reply, you can see that the new order is there and then my new custom message is now in the list. As you can see, currently the emoji does not show up. It does on the Vivo Active 3, so I'm assuming that this will be updated in the future. But if I select that and send it to my wife, when I go to my text messages, you can see that the emoji was actually sent. So while currently you cannot see the emoji on your actual watch, it will send it in the text. So at least you can communicate using that. All right, so that's how you set up and then use custom text message responses on the Garmin Forerunner 245 or 245 Music. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Garmin Forerunner 245 tutorial videos, check the link in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.